Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. Somebody's been blessed already. Hallelujah. Somebody's Thank been you, blessed Jesus. already. Thank you, Jesus. I greet you all. Hallelujah. Again, friends who watch us from the United States, from a little bit around. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tuning in. And of course, our family, Cross Point. God bless you and thank you for tuning in. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. Before we get into the word of God, hallelujah, welcome from Apostle. I'd like to read this Bible verse. God spoke to me uh, last night. It's out of I I Isaiah 61. I'm going to read it and then we're going to pray and then we'll get Amen. into the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah 61 verse 1 and 2. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me. Because the Lord has anointed me to mm -hmm. proclaim good news to Amen. the poor. Mm. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, mm -hmm. and release from darkness from the prisoners. Uh, number two, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Amen. And the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn. Hallelujah. God spoke to me last night that this is... This is the day, the season, hallelujah. Mm. Especially for number two, it says, it's the day of vengeance of our God mm. and to comfort all who mourn. I felt in my spirit, God said, God is about to bring vengeance. Vengeance upon the devil that has tormented you, mm -hmm. the devil that has put you down, yes. the scale that was put on you mm -hmm. that you could advance. Come on. Uh, the, 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 the ropes that was, uh, the chains that was around you, your feet, you couldn't run. Amen. God is bringing judgment over Allah the works Allah. of the enemy upon Be you because he's about to comfort mm -hmm. you, bring recompense, yes. bring retribution mm -hmm. upon your life. Amen. As Apostle was praying and prophesizing today. Mm -hmm. So I want to pray according to this Bible verse mm -hmm. because this is the day of vengeance mm -hmm. of our God upon the enemy of your soul, yes. upon the works of the darkness Allah over your life. So we're going to pray. Father God, we give you praise. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Spirit of vengeance Thank of you, God Jesus. upon your people, mm. Father God, to bring mm. freedom and freedom. recompense upon the life. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Out of Malachi, the Bible says, for those who fear his name, mm -hmm. the son of righteousness, son of righteousness will rise, will rise up with healing, healing in his wings. Yes, the Lord. son of justice mm. is coming upon you. Mm -hmm. The son of righteousness ah, is coming God for you. God yes. is about to comfort you. Yes, you who was in pain, mm -hmm. healing is about to come. Yes. Who you was in distress, yes. deliverance is about to come. In the name of you Jesus. who's been hurt and wounded, deliverance is in coming. The, name of the Jesus. comfort of God is coming in your way. This is your sin. A season, a season of retribution. Alibos God is Alibos. about to give you double, double for every trouble for that the trouble. devil has come against you. Every of spirit Jesus. of abuse that mm -hmm. has come against you, on, God now. has put a judgment, judgment against it. it. It will not hold you back. Jesus. You're going to advance. Yes. You're going to run. Yes. The spirit of acceleration yes. is coming upon you. The comforting name. of God yes. is coming upon you to give name. you back what the enemy has yes. stolen from you. Rope the Bible says if the thief is, is caught, he must restore seven, mm, times. seven times. There's a sevenfold coming your way. Receiving There's the a restitution Jesus. coming your Receiving way. The There's a comfort Jesus. coming your way. Receiving There's the a healing Jesus. coming your way. Receiving There's the an increase Jesus. coming your way. Receiving There's the favor Jesus. coming your way. Receiving There's the of Jesus. fraud that's coming your way. The, the justice, of the vengeance of our God yes. has been established. The justice mm. of God is established in upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Restitution in Jesus. Jesus restitution name. and recompense mm. receive you, it Lord Jesus. in the mighty name of Jesus thank you father hallelujah he shall hallelujah render justice he will render justice where injustice was done hallelujah thank hallelujah. you for the vengeance of the Lord yes thank you Lord God. hallelujah double for your trouble receive in the name of Jesus Receiving the name of Jesus. That's what you're talking about, the captivity. Yes, broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And when he broke the captivity of Israel, of Zion, of your family, when God brought judgment on the enemy, and he released justice to flow like waters. Yes. 
Yes, in every level of your life, let justice be rendered. Yes, God is about to surprise you. This justice is a new rendered. day, new mm. day, new Thank season. you, Father. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you. Justice being rendered. God is about to work in ways he's never mm. worked. Thank you. Yes, God, we thank you. I just see this vision very clearly. It's like there is a fight over a land in your family. It's like one of the members of the family passed away and. Uh, mm, mm. The inheritance is being such a battle field, all right? It's a battleground. Mm, 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 Something there mm, 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 that should belong to you, but everybody's rising up to mm, pick a piece of it, and, mm, and the battle is going on. Somebody passed away, and uh, unfortunately, uh, all the strength of the family, mm -hmm. instead of turning to consolation, have turned into picking up the piece of what the person has left behind. Mm. And uh, I just come right now based on the word that was spoken. Vengeance of God in the perspective of mm. justice, justice is being rendered for you. Ah, your portion, nobody will touch. You've mm. recovered. It is yours right mm. now. Mm. Mm. It will be dedicated to you. Mm. It is rightfully in yours. Jesus name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. 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 Don't mm. try to use any kind of crazy means. Mm. As the gates open on their own, this one will come on his own to you. They will gather and conclude that this is yours. Mm. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. Let it be so now in the name of Jesus Christ of mm. Nazareth. I saw, I see a, mm. a woman mm. struggling so much for her kid. Such a turmoil, you're mm. losing sleep mm. over mm. it, you just cry. Mm. You're wondering what is happening to my daughter. Mm. What is going on? I don't understand. She's so pretty and so beautiful. Mm. Why this? It's become such a big deal for mm. you. You are being so tormented. Mm. Mm. But justice is being rendered mm. right now mm. under the word that was released. Mm. Judgment is coming on the enemy that tormenting that little one. And translating it to you and your family. Peace in the name of Jesus. A reversal. Yes. Mm, for your good. In the name of Jesus ah, Christ of Nazareth, Maloki Oh, that one just fresh. I see somebody who has invested money in the company. It's like company is closing. You are worrying. You have lost that money. But I'm just here to proclaim to you. God has intervened on your behalf. Your money will be given back to you. Even in the bankruptcy state of this company. You will capture your portion there in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Don't just close your eyes on it and say, you know what? I lost it. I lost it. No, 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 no. Stand the course and know it's coming and it shall be done in the name of Jesus. God is breaking right now the yoke and releasing you into a garment. I see, I see a woman in a garment of marriage, a, a rich garment of marriage. Uh, the curse has been broken and justice has yes. been rendered. Yes. Judgment has come, releasing you in from captivity in the place of celebration. Yeah, your case is different. That's what is it for you. It is right here now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see a woman standing in front. There is one way, you know you're going to walk in it. It's a way of opportunity. Then there is two more ways that just open. And you stood in front of the three ways now, wondering, where should I go for this opportunity of business? And God wants me to tell you, take the three. Take the three. Take the three, invest you in mm. the three. Mm. Don't mm. pick only the one. Mm. Mm. You know, you are praying, God, give me a choice. Mm. I need to know mm. which way to go. Mm. Which uh, one should be the best for me? God said, go Amen. for the three. Amen. This is a time of expression of increase and multiplication. In the name of Jesus Christ. I establish it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Justice, the judgment of the Lord, the vengeance of the people of God. He said he is the avenger of his people. Yes. 
Thank you, Father, for miracles and wonders and breakthroughs, new ways in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the time that we have left, I would like to take advantage Hallelujah. to uh, speak on to the subject of mm. mental transformation. Hallelujah. A very important subject. Mm. I want to calibrate a little bit my time here so I can engage with you. Hallelujah. Mental transformation. Uh, I really want to just simply teach that to you and then we can have a time of prayer. Mm. The mind, mm. the mind, every person is made of three parts, the spirit, the mind, and the body. The spirit is you. The body is you in the mm. physical realm. Take notes because I really want to teach you, and I want this thing to penetrate your heart, your mind. I want a renewal of your mind. So the body, it is for the demonstration, the manifestation in the physical realm. Mm. Now what connects the spirit to the body is the mind. Mm. The mind is the bridge between the spirit and the body. It's the bridge between the spirit and the body. It's the bridge between the invisible and the visible. The mind is the custom, is the one who translate, convert, interpret what the spirit communicate so that the body can act accordingly based on the interpretation that the mind has captured from the message that came from the spirit. Is the interface between the spirit and the body. It's the center of emotion. It is the center of your imagination. That's what the mind is. And I really want we unlearn certain things this morning so we can learn what is true. Amen. You can mean well, mm. but if you mean well on wrong information, regardless how well you mean, your result will be not corresponding to your well-meaning, but rather to the excellence of of the information you receive. And we've been taught wrong that what is responsible of the manifestation of the thing of the spirit in the physical realm is the spirit. It's not true. It is not true. It cannot be only the spirit. Mm, mm, mm. Do you understand? Hallelujah. All that is responsible Mm -hmm. For the manifestation of spiritual realities Jesus, Jesus. is not only the spirit. Hallelujah. That's wrong. See, I'm recalibrating somebody right now. It's the spirit, the mind, and the body. Mm. If your body is not on this earth, mm. regardless of the vision you capture in the spirit, is no longer good for earth. Therefore, your purpose is void. The Bible said in Psalm 78, verse 41, mm. you can go read it. Because of their mind, they limited the unlimited God. Jesus. Jesus. In the spirit, mm. God is unlimited. But in the physical, God is only limited mm. by your mind. In other words, what you see in your life is a reflection of your mind. Not even of your spirit. No. Are you getting me? It's the allowance that you and I, as people of a mind, have granted to God. That's what determines what God can do in your life. So all that you see in your life is not only what God can do. All that you see in your life is what God does based on the allowance you have granted him. And the allowance I have granted to God. Your mind is powerful. And it is an amazing and important agent for the manifestation of your spiritual realities in the earth realm. Jesus. 
don't fall into the imbalance of truth that we see nowadays. Mm. Where, listen, people think the relevance of your spiritual dynamic does not make up and does not convert immediately in this earth. In other words, you can be a prayer warrior and you can be powerful in the things of the spirit, but yet trail from behind in this earth because you have neglected mental development. I don't preach today. I'm, I want to talk to you. The relevance of spiritual dynamic does not make up in this life. It doesn't make up for the development of your mind. If you neglect the development of your mind, you can be powerful in the spirit and produce little. You can be an elephant and just produce little. And these are the fallacies. The wrong belief that have kept well-meaning families, well-meaning churches, well-meaning people into captivity. Mm. Mm. I'm praying. Mm. I'm seeing visions. Mm. I understand the things of the spirit. So therefore, I will command. No, 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 no. If your mind is not upgraded, you will not command. Illumination is in the mind, not in the spirit. Because the spirit is already enlightened. But what your mind can capture, that's what you will reproduce on this earth. What your mind hasn't yet captured will never become a reality in this, man, in this earth. So we mean well, and yet we drag from behind. Here's what the scripture said in Romans 12, 2, in the NLT, New Living Translation. Don't copy the behavior and custom of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. There are some behaviors that are today your obstacle, not even the devil. In fact, it's those behaviors that give access to the devil to our lives. Let God now transform our life by turning us into a new person by changing our thinking. That means as a man thinks, so he is. So a new person is a new thinking, not a new spirit. So if you want to turn into a new person, you have to upgrade your mental ascend. You have to upgrade your mental denomination. You have to upgrade your mind. Because your life revolves around the way you're thinking. Your mind decides what is around you. Your mind decides what you attract. Your mind decides what God can do through you and around you and for you. That's why the Bible says, worship God with all your mind, your heart and soul. It speaks also to your mind, not just your spirit. That's right. Hallelujah. Jesus. We have to bring our mind to submit to the realities of Christ. That's why the Bible says, let this mind be in you that was in Christ. We're not talking about the spirit of Christ here. We're talking about the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. Why do you need the mind of Christ? So you can translate spiritual realities into the physical. Amen. Amen. It is the quality of your mind that is able to set you up for the quality of life because of the quality of your spirit. The mind is a converter. Look at us. Let me talk to in our countries back home in Africa. I mean, people pray. You don't see more spiritual than this continent. But why do we drag behind in every level? It's because we are behind when it's come to mental transformation. Please don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you the truth. Where I am today and where you are today, after we shandala and pray in tongues 
and fast and demonstrate spiritual muscles. If your mind did not get affected to be transformed, you will just be making noise and no result to command in this life. Proverbs 4, 23 said, I like this in the today's English version. He said, be careful how you think because your life is shaped by your thoughts. Your life is shaped by your thinking. Your life is shaped by your mind. Be careful. Maroka la patata. Everyone in this life will rise by illumination. We go up by understanding. It is the illumination of the mind. It is the accumulation, the summation of your belief system. It shapes your life and will prevent or allow God to do God. Mm. Even though it's God, they limited the unlimited God because of the mindset that was backslided and not updated. That's why I'm speaking to somebody today. Put on your running shoes. It's time to go up. It is time for a mental upgrade. Just like your computer, your iOS, uh, Apple uh, uh, operational system. It had to be updated once in a while because there's some new viruses that the old version will not be able to, to handle. So you have to update to become relevant, mentally speaking. So that your spirit can have room to walk through. So to establish God's will in the earth. It is time for mental upgrades. Listen to me. My current mental degree. Your current. I'm not talking about intelligence and IQ. I'm talking about your level of transformation of your mind. In the likeness of the mind of Christ. That is brilliant and illumination, eliminated to be able to bring in spiritual realities without any compromise. Mental transformation. My mindset and my current mindset and yours, listen to me. That's what allowed me to be where I am. And that's what brought you where you are. And you know what? That's what is making you to be where you are. Please. You need to know that. And you know what? That's what is also the obstacle sometimes that is preventing you to go to your next step. Your mindset can be a limitation factor for the amazing dreams and vision God gave you. Even your calling. Even your calling. Your calling can be frustrated and you wonder. And sometimes we think it's the devil. Of course it's the devil, but he's using your, your backslidden mindset that has refused to be upgraded. We have locked God and we have locked ourselves in the box. Today is not God you need to release. You cannot lock him really in reality. It is you you need to release from your own box so God can be. You all know the story of the baby elephant. When the baby elephant is small, they put a rope around his foot and they tied him on a nail that they pierce a tent peg in the ground. Every time the baby elephant want to move, it will apply a pain on his body and then it will just relax and not move anymore because it's painful. Before you realize it, he has connected movement with pain. Did you see what I'm saying? He have connected progression with pain. He have connected lifting up with pain. He have connected achievement with pain. He have connected taking ground with pain. Now this baby elephant has grown up to become a monster. Huge elephant now. They will put him in the circus and put the same rope on his foot. And he will not be able to go beyond the boundaries that have been set for him. Because his mindset has been manipulated by connecting progression, advancement with pain. And even though he had the strength to break out 
and destroy anything, it will be limited because of his mind. Jesus. I'm speaking to somebody. Mm. Today, I want we pray and break those stubborn mindset that have been keeping us into a place of imprisonment so somebody can rise up. Listen to me. Mm, mm, mm. I will say this and it's very strong. Your mindset today and my mindset, that's what we use as template to interpret life event, to interpret life. Mm. We use that to interpret life. And that's the way we interpret God. We interpret family. We interpret marriage. We interpret prosperity. We interpret money. We interpret achievement. We interpret friendship. Everything that pertains to your life. Listen to me. Mm. Your mindset is the template that you use to interpret life. Mm. Mm. That's why if your mindset is twisted mm. and is not upgraded, you can be blessed yet sitting, feeling miserable, depressing, and crying every day because your mindset is misinterpreting spiritual realities. And your body become a slave of mm, such. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus. Jesus. Many Jesus. watching me today, you are depressed sometimes, depressed and discouraged, beating up yourself. You know reality is? It's because you are misinterpreting life based on a wrong pattern. Your template, that is your mindset, need to be upgraded. It affects the way you respond to God. It affects the way you respond to conflict. It affects the way you respond to challenges. Are you taking notes? The mind is so vital that if we are spiritual, if we are commanding in the spirit, our mind has to rise up to the proper denomination. Mm to be able to interpret properly our victory in the mm. spirit so that it can begin to be a reality in the mm. physical. Mm. You, That's why keep many people in confinement, keep many people in captivity because of their mindset. Thank you. Watch the power of a mindset. Please, I'm using this example to just make a point. I'm not downgrading at all the job allocated to anybody. Mm. Take a manager, a man who runs, for example, a company, is sitting in his office as a CEO, a DG, in French Director General. Sitting in his office, air conditioning, he has the fridge there, coffee maker there, he has nice living room in the office, a secretary, administrative workers. This person is in the air conditioning. He's making few bucks. Then you get on the other side, we have another person. Please, I'm not neglecting this position. I'm just using to make a point, to tell you how even the work and the calling and what we do sometimes has a lot to do with a mindset. Now you have a person at the gate, standing on the sun, burned by the sun, sweating under the sun, lifting up the gate every day for people to come in in the compound. People must complain. Ah, uh ah, -uh, this guy is sitting in the office, air conditioning. Look at this poor person standing there. Now, watch our mindset work. I'm not speaking about the skills. I'm talking about the mindset. The summation of the belief system. The standard that I've developed to match their mind to the spiritual reality so they can transfer it to command in the natural. Swap these people. Transfer them. Now, before you realize it, just give them a few weeks. People will now stay at the gate to have counsel. The gate. Why? It's not a swap of position. It's a swap of mindset. Yet the other person in the office, please, will begin to drink all the coffee himself. He didn't do it for the guests. He never been there. His mindset does not understand the environment in which they put him. Air conditioning will begin to be a problem. He will want to pull out the air conditioning to take it home. He will want to steal the printer 
and take it home because he knows it does not belong to him. He won't be able to enjoy it maybe tomorrow. His mind begins to alter the environment to match his standard. That's what happened to a lot of corrupt countries where somebody gained a position and his mindset is not adapted to the position. He begins to steal money because he doesn't understand the mindset. Hey, you will not be, you, do, you don't belong here. You better pick up everything before you lose it. So they will corrupt the area, corrupt the office, corrupt the business, corrupt the position to match their mindset level. That's why poverty is ruling in our countries. Poverty is not a financial statement. It is a mindset state. A mindset state. As a man think it, so he is. You will change your environment just because of your mindset. They brought Israel in the desert. A country that is young as Israel. Listen to me, brother and sisters. In the desert, their mindset is so powerful that they set it up to communicate to the promises that God has for them. And they turn it into producing the best oranges in the world. Turning a desert into a forest producing oranges. Mindset transformation. Mental transformation is powerful. Hallelujah. You get what I'm saying? And I want to tell you, I will take it down to a common level. There is a mindset to handle $1,000. $1,000 is a promise of God for your prosperity. One million dollar also is a promise of God for your prosperity. So is 10,000. That's right. But there is a mindset that is conducive to match the denomination of 10,000. Mm. If you take 10,000 and you give it to a person that his mindset is 100, before you realize this 10,000 will put on wings according to the scripture and fly away like a bird. Because the 10,000 will wake up to the reality to know, ah, uh -uh, I'm in the wrong place. Just the mindset, the way they are dealing with me, it showed me this is not a denomination conducive to handle 10,000. I'm in the wrong place. This guy, his denomination is conducive for $100. He does a good job there. The mind is agreeing with it. The mind is happy with it. His upgrade version is matching $100 denomination. I'm using that for example's sake so you understand. That is applying to the business you're waiting for. Some of your business cannot come to you. If it comes to you, it will run away from you. You will lose it because your mental transformation does not match it. Abraham, let me tell you, Isaac won't come until the mindset of Abraham become a reality. Because there is Isaac, yes, but he cannot be captured by Abraham. He can only be captured by Abraham, the one who has been upgraded spiritually and mentally. Jesus, Jesus. I am happy there are certain things that haven't come to my life yet that I know God has for me. Because I don't want it to come and I lose it. On the contrary, I want to expose myself to the word of God. I want to expose myself to the place of understanding. I want to expose myself to illumination. I want to expose myself to teaching like I'm giving you right now. So I can receive illumination in my mind to match with the great call and promise God has for me. So I can command it into my realities Amen. and become a blessing to the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear me somebody. That's why it is very important. Your mind will fight your rise mm. and bring you back to your level mm. that is matching it. You want to rise and your mind will say, what the heck, what are you going? No, I receive a prophetic word. You know why do you receive prophetic word? Let me tell you today. Mm. Prophetic word is to grow your mind. 
When you receive a prophetic word, you've been receiving this morning, is to grow your mind. It is to upgrade your mind to match the promise fulfillment. Prophetic word is not just to inform you. It is to pregnant your mind to match the spiritual reality so that it can be fulfilled. Many people, their mind fight them. In fact, let me put this. If you haven't captured it in the mind, it will not be manifested in the physical. You got to capture it in the mind. Everything you capture in the mind will come back mm -hmm. to physical. But everything that you receive that you have not captured yet in the mind will either leave you mm -hmm. or when it comes, mm -hmm. it will create frustration mm -hmm. because you will abuse it. You will abuse $10,000. You will abuse $1 million Because your mental transformation does not understand it. It will refuse. In fact, I will say it loud. Your mind will think it's an error. Mm. Mm, 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 error. What do you mean? I, don't, I just received $10,000. Mm, error. Because your transformation should not command such yet. Take this jacket or yours. Again, for example's sake, give it to a street boy. A poor person in the street. Mm. Give him one week. When you come back, you will not recognize your jacket. Yet it didn't turn it away. Mm. You know why? Because once or not, that jacket has become the expression of his mindset. Mm, 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 mm. That jacket become the reflection mm, mm, mm. of his mindset. Poverty is not a mental, is not a financial statement. Mm. It's a mental state. Mm, mm, mm. It is a mindset state. Yes. Today I want you to look in the account of your mind. Mm, mm, mm. How much upgrade have you had in there? I'm going to a closing quickly now. Mm. Ephesians 3 20 said, Now to him who is able to do what? To do more than we can what? Ask and what? Imagine. Now, watch this. Him who is able to do more than what we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. Able to do what we can ask and imagine. Now, in you, there is two prayer warriors. One who ask and one who imagine. One who confess and one who imagine. The imagination center is your mind. The asking is your heart that speak mm. forth. There are mm. two prayer warriors. He said to him who is able to do more than. So there are certain things God does because you ask. And there are certain things he does because you imagine. Did you hear what I said? Two prayer warriors in you. And most of the time they are fighting. Because sometimes your confession does not match your imagination. They are struggling, wrestling against one another. Instead of collaborating and cooperating. That's why your mental statement sometimes will sabotage your confession. Sabotage your confession. It will sabotage your proclamation. Mm. Declare a thing and it shall be established. It can sabotage your mental transformation. If it's not upgraded, if it's not renewed in the likeness of Christ, if it does not match the promises of God, your spiritual realities, you can proclaim and it will turn into zero. You will sabotage your proclamation, sabotage your prayers, sabotage your confession because of an upgraded mindset. I was talking to somebody one day, say, you know, all I need, Apostle, I want you to pray for me. I just need capital and then my shop. I need capital and my shop. I, you know what? You, that's not what you need. Mm. You will never rise that way. Mm. How many people have capital and shop and then after they lose everything? And people say, ah, he didn't have business skills. I tell you the truth. This is beyond skills. 
This is a technology in the spirit by which God manifests spiritual realities in the physical. It is the mental transformation. It's not skills. There are people who learn business skills, but yet you give them capital in the shop, they turn it into a desert. They turn it into a zero ground because the mental ascent has not accessed yet the proportion of what they believe God for. It's not just capital. Mm -hmm. There is a mental version of you. Mm -hmm. What you're seeking is looking for you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes not this version of you and I. Mm -hmm. That greatness we believe God for, that God promised us, is looking for us. But not this version. I got to upgrade this version. There's opportunities looking for you. And they can find you and me. Why? Because the, the, the me they are looking for is not yet manifested in my mental growth. In my mental transformation. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just telling you the truth. Mm. Until your mind captures the victory, that victory will be just a confession. As the man thinks who he is. The battle you win in the mind it is the battle you will enjoy in the physical. It's that victory you will enjoy. The mind is so powerful that when it's transformed according to the laws of God, it will see and capture the prophetic vision, walk through it, and cross the finish line. And walk back and take your body and say, let's go, I've been there. It has to be finished, only, not only in the spirit. In the spirit, everything is finished for your own information. There's nothing that's been built in the spirit right now. Your breakthrough is already finished. Your healing is already finished. Your promotion is already finished. Your business is already finished. Every promise in the spirit is finished. That's why the Bible says yes and amen. Yes and amen doesn't mean that you have captured it. It's mean at its state, it is done. It's finished. God knows the end from the beginning. God is not working right now in the spirit trying to do a miracle. Every miracle is finished. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. But it has to be finished also in your mind. You got to capture it in your mind. When your mind captures the vision, that business is already finished. When your mental transformation is such that it's connected with the spiritual reality, it can draw it out. And it becomes so real that the mind knows, I got it. I saw it. I saw when I was the prime minister in Egypt. Joseph, I saw it. I saw. Then only then, your mind pick your body. So when they throw you in the pit and treat you wrong, you don't give up. Because you've been there. You've seen your elevation. You've seen your coronation. You've seen your celebration. You've captured already in the mind your marriage. You've captured already in the mind the financial breakthrough. So when things are not going well, you still smile because your mind has already enjoyed the victory. Amen. Only then it can pick up your body That's right. and say, let's go now, follow me. Been there, done that. Mm. I know how to get there. If your mind does not cross the finish line, your body cannot cross the finish line. I'm speaking to somebody today. It is time for a mind renewal. It is time for a mind upgrading. It is time to tear down the old mindset, the religious mindset, the cultural mindset that have kept you behind. You are meaning well, but somewhere you've been locked down into captivity. You've been locked down in a place where there is no celebration. I am coming to talk to you. It is time for you to rise up and enter in the place where your mind only have access. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Maraka la beresure malatia ramatea maya. Kilo ramayin de lebesia raba. I want you to put your hand on your mind. And let me pray for you. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 2. That Daniel make up his mind. He purposed in his mind. 
Ah, Shelebaya. Because his mind captured the reality of his spirit. And the mind capturing it, it moved him to put them in jail and put them on lions and put the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnogo in fire. And they didn't care. They were not afraid because the mind captured the spiritual reality. Esther said, if I perish, I perish. Because a mind captured the spiritual reality that there is a God who will rescue you from the mouth of the lion. There is a God who will stand with you in the fire. There is a God who will bestow favor upon you that the decrees of the king will be reversed because your case is different. I'm speaking today. Let me stretch my hand to you. I release the blood of Jesus. I invoke the blood of Jesus. I invoke the superior blood of Jesus to purge our mind from all dead works, to purge our mind from all religious belief system, every structure that have been limiting us to receive the spiritual reality. Let it crumble in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command every stronghold to be broken. I command every mental stronghold to be broken. Every cultural stronghold that is stand against your advancement that is mixing the interpretation of the spiritual promises and realities that is bringing confusion. I destroy and I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. We submit our mind and we receive the mind of Christ. We submit it to the principle of truth. We submit it to the principle of the word of God. Amen. We submit it to Amen. the voice of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We submit it to obey and uh, Jesus grew in stature. In stature. Mental stature. Yes. Mental stature. Yes. Jesus grew into mental stature. He grew into physical stature. He grew in wisdom stature. Because of that, he had favor with God and with man. There is a mental transformation and update that will release favor upon your life. Favor with heaven and favor with man. Receive such in the name of Jesus Christ. Humble yourself and say, Lord, forgive me. I have operated by an old system. I have operated by a traditional system. I have operated by a cultural anti-God system. I have operated by a humanistic thinking pattern system in the name of Jesus Christ and Lord wash my mind oh Lord purge my mind oh Lord purge my belief system establish your laws in me establish your words in me establish your ways in me establish your principles in me establish your word your covenantal word in me the word of life the word of truth that I may command in my generation, that I may fulfill your purposes, that I may fulfill the dream you gave me, that I will fulfill the vision you gave me. Let a new side of me rise. Let a new version of me rise. Let a new status of me rise. Let a new kind of me rise. Let the mind of Christ be implanted in me. Let it become a reality. Let it overrule every other reality. Let it overrule every other mindset. Every demonic mindset. Every demonic lies. Every demonic stronghold. Every demonic pillars that have been raised in your life. I destroy them in Jesus name. I refuse to think the way I used to think. That's what the Bible says. Let the poor say, I am rich. When he confess it, he has to imagine it. The two prayer warriors need to come together in agreement. When you say, I am rich, I'm not poor. Let your mantle assessment be corresponding. Begin to imagine what prosperity look like for you. Begin to imagine what being healthy look like for you. When your mouth say, I am healed, I begin to imagine what my healthy son look like. What my healthy boy look like. How does he talk? How does he walk? How does he operate? How does he minister? How does he live his life? 
I have to begin to imagine it. Imagination is a gift God gave to men to access spiritual reality and transport them into the natural. And your emotions are real. So is your imagination. Because by imagination, you can become emotional. By imagination, you can begin to cry right now. By imagination, you can begin to laugh. I'm speaking to somebody today. You can no longer walk just like your condition is. If you confess that your situation has changed, imagine a changed situation. Imagine a new atmosphere. Imagine a new circumstances. If you bow it, you need to lose it. If you close it, you have to open it. Thank you, Jesus. What am I seeing now? What do you see? Ask and imagine. Ask or imagine to pray warriors. Father, thank you for new mindsets. Feed it with the word. Feed your mind with the word. Let it be renewed to turn you into a new person and change your thinking. When your mind is upgraded, you assess things differently. You interpret things differently. Therefore, things affect you differently. Your joy will multiply. When your mind is upgraded, listen to me. Your perspective of life change. The reason many people are so pessimistic, negative, is because of their mindset. You get it? What are you imagining in your spirit? What did your imagination capture from the spiritual realm? Receive that healing, Margaret, in the name of Jesus. You are healed, Margaret, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I receive a new mindset. The mind of Christ. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you richly. Expose yourself to what is true. Expose yourself to what is inspiring. Expose yourself to what will challenge you. Listen to me. Be flexible. And remove yourself from your own boxes. God is God. He healed by spitting in the mud and putting on people's eyes. We cannot just put him into our little value system that still keep our dignity ruling. No, no, no. Let God be God. And let God be true. And every man be alive. May the Lord bless you. Welcome to your new you. Welcome to your new mindset. And I pray in the name of Jesus, that mindset is attracting things to you. Mm. And my last word before I pass it to Mama here is this one. There is a lot of things you will not need to pray for when your mind is changed into likeness of Christ. It just attracts good things towards you. Let that be your story mm. in Jesus' name. We love you. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. We command you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Apostle. Mm. God bless you. God is making everything that was wrong right mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. He's opening the prison bars for you and your family. Thank you, Father. We'll be speaking to you this week. For those who are in Alberta, I know stage two has been open. We're studying everything and we'll let you know. God bless you. We love you. And keep your mind open Amen. to the magnificence of God and what he yes. can do, he will do in yes. your life. Yes. God bless you all. God bless you all. We love you. Bye now. <laughs>